Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Sorry I'm late. Sorry I'm late. I, I need to just say ahead of time, I despise the weakness of my flesh that I need to eat a honey butter chicken biscuit or I'm going to like pass out midstream. Uh, but I got one and I ate it and I actually got coffee because I want like full energy today. Like I'm going to have shaky hands, but it's fine. I despise the weakness of my flesh. Why is my brain matter not directly hooked up to steam? Get on it, Gabe. Somebody, somebody get Gabe on the horn. Tell him to work on that chop chop post taste. Mm. But I'm here. We're going to play Outer Wilds. Good morning. Good morning. I saw a bunch of gift memberships and, and a blank Akasupa. <laughs> Zave, thank you so much for the blank Akasupa. Nikki Cheesy, thank you for the 20 gifted memberships. Mr. Vig, thank you so much for the 20 gift, five gifted memberships. Let's go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thursday, thank you very much for the super chat. Days, thank you very much for the super chat. Okay, okay. I think we're caught up. Fate Burn, thank you very much for the super chat. This game is more fun than you can see, but I guess a blind play. <laughs> it turns fine. Okay, somebody mentioned I should like pin. I'm gonna pin like a please no spoiler. Please no spoiler. I'm just a little guy. Okay, we pin that. Okay, we good? We good? Okay. Just a just a heads up. This is definitely this is definitely going to be a game or a stream. Maybe multiple streams, I don't know. It, it's going to be a stream where I I don't interact with chat that much. And I apologize ahead of time, but I want to like I want to get into it. I want to get into it. Thank you very much for the super chats. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's go. Let's get into it. Let's be Okay. Okay. Cracking my neck a little bit. Okay. How's the audio? Audio level decent? Good? Good? Am I quiet? I tried to turn up my uh, my audio interface just a touch. Just a little bit. So it's like just barely peaking. Just a little bit of peaking. Okay, let's go. Certain parts of Echoes of the Eye can be intense for some players. They really come an obstacle to your enjoyment. Reduced rights option is available in the gameplay. Nah, pfft. nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being concerned about me, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. Thank you for supporting Outer Wilds Ventures. A new museum exhibit is now available in the Village Observatory. What? Okay. Uh, how's the game audio? Good? Peace? DLC? Oh, okay. I got the most expensive one. I got the most expensive version of Outer Wilds because, like, not just a few, like, a, like a lot of Vesties seems to, like, really love this game. So I got, like, the most expensive one. Okay, let's go. We're jumping in. Loading? What? Oh, I like it. E. <laughs> If only, if only it were that easy. <laughs> Press E to wake up. Oh, I wish that became like more common, like F to pay respects, right? Like, okay, here we go. I'm waking up. Oh, the sensitivity is a little bit too high. Hold on a second. Sorry, 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 sorry. Where's the mouse sensitivity? Uh, look sensitivity, here we go. Let's turn it, both of them down. Let's see, to right. No, thank you. Oh, still a little bit too high. Okay, better. Talk to sleep. Hello, Slate. I've been waiting for you. There's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. <gasps> He's so cute. Oh, shoot. I missed it. So what do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Wait. What? Ah, okay. My mouse. All right. There's no mouse. I don't want, I don't like calling people out. I just have faith, right? I like to say, I'm ready if you are. 
Are you kidding? Of course I'm ready. Finally time to test the new landing hydraulics for the pilot instead of the auto flight system. Mmm. Would recommend controller. Yeah, uh, like, it said that. But then, I, I just wanted to start, right? I just wanted to start. Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash the ship the first time you put it down, you hear? I mean, I would never do that on purpose, right? So you trying to... That's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from the Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay. All right. Observatory? I'm guessing here? Requires... Ah, uh, okay. Jump. Hmm. Hold and release. Oh, that's interesting. Cool. Okay. Hello, Mika. Micah? Micah? Micah, right? Hey, it's you! Slay said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Better thrusters? Key to having a good time. Want to give it a test drive? Slay says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you got. Oh. I'll try. Horizontal thrust, up, down thrust. Left control, left shift. this down. Oh my god. Reset. Let's go! Okay. Ah, uh, you can't just do it too much. You have to tap it. You just have to tap. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just let's just go. Let's just go. Leave. Wow, that was just like the real time in the external field tanks exploded on re-entry. Uh... You'll... You'll be okay flying the big one, right? Oh, okay. All right. What you cooking? What you cooking? Hey yo, Ashlyn. I hear you leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. 
When you return, let's you, me, and Kosan go up a bottle of the good stuff. Hmm. I'm only seeking adventure amongst one star, actually. Other stars are too far away. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck, idiot. Hey. Hey, Porphy. He's just rough around the edges. He doesn't actually think I'm an idiot. You don't think I'm an idiot, right? Sorry about, like, crashing that, like, ship on top of your head. Don't worry about that. Hmm. A little bit too sensitive, but what are you going to do, right? I'm guessing you can't go into any of these buildings. Observatory? Got it. <laughs> nice. Oh, hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Just saying hi. Mm, tell me about the other travelers' instruments. Oh, well, sure. I made all of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Church drums. Reebok's banjo and the Gabro's flute. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course, although Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space, that'll be one of the space programs of the travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Okay. Alright. Do I... Do I... Do I get an instrument? No? Okay. Marl. <laughs> I want to do, like, the most stereotypical, like, Canadian accent, but I feel like I'm going to piss people off, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to. So it's launch day, huh? Hal's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch on is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. It's probably a really good idea. That big tree in the village would be perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. <laughs> the launch pad is flammable? Ah, you didn't realize that? Ah, don't worry. It's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. Okay. Outer Wilds Ventures presents postcards from orbit. We good? Okay. I don't want to do... I just want to talk to the people, not do any of the side stuff. Observatory, here we go. Okay. This way? No. People? No. Wait. Who are you? Tefra. Well, I'll eat there, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We always wanted to play hide-and-seek, but Moraine wouldn't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate. Not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Please? We'll even let you be it. <laughs> These are children, by the way! Spoilers! <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Don't feel bad, I'm sorry. It's just, a, it's just a joke. Sorry, kid. Can't play today. Oh, really? Well, we can't play without a signal scope. Play with us later, okay? Galena? Galena? That's one of the other names of Kingsfoil. 
the 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 rare but valuable herb that can cure the black breath, right? The affliction caused by the ring wraith of Naz the Nazgul, right? Galena. Galena. Okay. I like this one. I like this one. Good luck in space. Oh, I like you. You're cool. All right. All right. <laughs> fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You are leaving for the crater? <laughs> Guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. Precious, precious. A big water planet. Giant's deep. That's where I go. I need to find the Hornfells. Did you try the... I'm going to the observatory. I've literally never seen them anywhere else. Okay, thank you. Time is money, friend. <laughs> <laughs> I got the best deals anywhere. Okay. All right, dry up, dry up. This is a serious game. Don't, don't f around, idiot. Got to take this seriously. Maybe, maybe I should lay off like the voiceovers in case there's like more. In case there's like a lot more. Danger inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. The strange and dangerous substances is invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Oh. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Okay. Hey, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Ghost Sun said it used to be bigger when they were a hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. Hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm grown up. Ghost matter's awesome. What? Ghost matter's super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah, I heard touching it burnt so bad it's like... Your whole hand's on fire. Oh. Try not to walk in any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. Okay. You got a camera? That's the observatory, I'm guessing. What? Come say hi to your old flight coach before your launch. I've got zero G training set up if you want a refresher. Okay. Is that you? Hey. Hey, I thought I'd see you before the lo Oh no, I already did that. I did that. That was like the kid, right? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I already did that. Nerves getting the better of you? <gasps> Gosan's missing an eyeball. I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good. Everybody should be a bit nervous before going into space. I'm gonna make him like super drunk, okay? I got a little cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, that's never as green as you. Hey, I gotten better. I think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite. Which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment. Set up in the zero G cave in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute zero G practice, 
Head down the left and into the cave. Or don't. So long as you feel confident, you can make shiver bears in space. Okay, sure. Cool, cool. Get to it! And try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. Thank you. Activate with. Oh, it's kind of pretty. Oh. Oh, flashlight. here hey tough guy tough guy hey hey nice of you to drop down give me the dirt give me the dirt some fresh dirt not much happening down here lately let me think uh, come to think of it I saw something crash outside of the village crater earlier. That's new and different. Oh, hey! How about that? Yeah. They were on fire watch with the old scout launcher and saw smoke. So they went to check it out. Safety first, right? No, no. I'm kidding. I said that to Tektide once. Pretty rude how long they laughed for, if you ask me. <laughs> If I made like the Minecraft noise every time I like hit something, like never mind. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh. oh. Match velocity. This is so cool. Whoa, whoa. Where'd 
Where is it? Is it on the inside? I think you're on the inside. Yeah, you are. Yeah, there you are. Up. In. Match velocity. Oh, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die! Isn't there a dude here? Left. Ghost. One of my favorite movies of all time is Apollo 13. I love that movie so much. With Tom Hank. There's like a there's like a Facebook page of like a dude impersonating Tom Hanks, but his name is Tom Hank. And it's a picture of Jim Carrey. Yeah, it's a picture of Jim Carrey. So I just call him Tom Hank. Yeah. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but remember your training. Try not to have anything big. I can see you're itching to get out of this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey. Try to avoid getting yourself killed now that you put so much time in the train. Got it? Okay. I saw smoke coming out from Young Bark Crater up north, and I figured I'd go check it out. You can use the scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. Is this the observatory? East know my ruins. Uh. Geyser Mountains. Young Bark Crater. Young Bark Crater. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Aim launcher. Launch scout. What is it? What? Yo! -ho! Dude, that's so cool. Oh, you can rotate the camera? Okay. <laughs> this is so cool. How do you rotate? 
do you rotate? This is so cool. Rotate the camera. Oh, okay. 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 Retrieve scouts. That's actually really cool. I like that. Put it away. Okay. All right. Let's go to the observatory. Oh, observatory's right here. Okay. Cornfells, Kuzan, Feldspar, Esker, Slate. Big thanks to these additional founding members with whom we never got off the ground. Mm. Shark Templar. That's a really cool nickname. You guys are cool. Furthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first hurt. Hurt the end to intention be intentionally launched into space, which means there were unintentional launches. Okay. Many landings on our moon, the Adel Rock. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look at yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note that the decorative jewelry has been carved as a part of, part of the antlers. Though there are artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet on the solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. Mm. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tool's inaugural flight, too. So I'm excited. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any know my text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez. Dude, I swear, to, I swear to God, don't break it. Don't break it, I'll break your, break your freaking legs. All right, dude. Ugh. Ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. I'm like actually excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. Can't wait to see all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You're here to see the new Nomai statue? New statue? You haven't heard? Gabbro bought it back from them from Giant's Deep, and the Hornfells just finished prepping it for display. This one right here. Neat, huh? Oh, I've already seen it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes me wish you could go see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This first fully intact statue ever found. This is the first fully intact statue ever found. For how old it is, it's in great shape. 
Ah, jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Oh, thank you, Hal. Satellite made out of a barrel. Interesting. The radio tower here on Timber Earth Heart was built to tr receive transmissions from our deep space satellite, and to this day, it still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. These photos were made possible by the deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of our solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the Deep Space Satellite is now responsible for generating real-time solar system map. A, the real-time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. Oh, okay. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. Hmm. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and begins to contract. As the, core's, as the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Church's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Huh, okay. That means the sun in Outer Worlds is bigger than the sun that you guys have, right? I do distinctly remember a professor telling me that our sun is not big enough to go supernova. It's just going to collapse in on itself. Yeah. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. What? Oh, I'm gonna hurl. All right, that's pretty cool. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds Ventures, OWV, allowing us to modify our expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Okay. What you see here are the parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and quite unusually, only three eyes. The Nomai was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. This shows the differences in Nomai anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure. It shows us that Parthians couldn't have descended from Nomian ancestors. It's not unclear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find out more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Hmm. Aside from dwellings and structures that they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered in Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts, str depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found anywhere in our solar system. This makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or sim simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets, and if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno-Archaeological Expeditions. Hmm. 
This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Ooh. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Huh. Deliax and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't... Wait, what? Fortunately, Adelrock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. <laughs> the ground is perfectly level. So what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Adelrock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey Adel Rock, take me to dinner first. Hey, hey, hey. oh, that is. So cool. <laughs> oh, that is so freaking cool. Giants Deep, the Hourglass Twins, Timber Hearth, you're here, Brittle Hollow, Dark Bramble. Okay, wait. Yeah, yeah, that's everything. Okay. Is there a Kuiper belt? Oh, no, no, no. Don't spoil it for me. Don't, don't spoil it for me. Don't spoil it for me. Close map. Rotate. I'm already rotating. Okay. Zoom. Pan. Ah, okay. Whoa, whoa. Hornfells. Ah, there you are. I just finished the pre-flight observations, and local conditions are good. Time to get to our new astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I'm going to meet up with the other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's ever gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I'm going to wing it. Well, definitely not wing it. Definitely don't know. Definitely not this one. Typically don't really start small. I typically like aim way too big. Because I think when you aim way too big, you have to put in big effort. And even if you don't, and I never, I never hit like my target, but because I put in the effort to hit it, I go much higher than I, than I usually 
than I thought I would have been able to otherwise, right? Can we get much higher? I think this is the honest answer for me. I want to go somewhere that no one's ever gone before. That's the most honest answer to me. I like it. You'll have plenty of options to choose from. No one's ever landed on the interloper before, you know. Perhaps you'll be the first. I must say, should you choose to go to Dark Bramble, be very careful. No one's ever explored there either. For what you'll find are excellent reasons. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, a fine day for a launch. <laughs> Your Excellency, I am ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition. But isn't that kind of unlucky to say before a launch? At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are very bi every bit as safe as Slave sl Slate could have been persuaded to make them. <laughs> Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Okay. My life for Ayer. Carrier has arrived. strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed amongst realize that there must be some sort of obstacle illusion at play, but Gabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree that the effect is extremely creepy. Aha! Gotcha, you little bastard! <laughs> gotcha, you little bastard! You know, fuck you! Fuck you! Just like college. Oh no, I'm tripping. not what I would say. I don't give a shit about the other travelers. I don't give a shit about you, Feldsmart. Hornfels, I'm tripping balls. Hornfels, I'm not okay. 
I am not good. Oh, God. This is why, this is why, like, this is why the tabletop RPG will never be replaced, right? If this is a TTRPG, I could go up to this dude and tell him that and he would respond. Oh my God, what? Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I need to take this seriously. That like actually... Well, this guy has like really bad posture. I want to give this guy like a neck massage. Bro. Bro. It looked at me. saw images from your own memories and glowing lights you mean like a hallucination yeah exactly like a hallucination listen no offense but are you okay to launch like medically speaking no that statue is definitely weird but why nothing like this has ever happened to them we're going back to the giant's deep which you don't know which island they're on though Maybe they'll be able to tell you more. Gabros, you know, Gabros, so maybe you'd be better off searching for more info on your own. Translator tool to find out more about the statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Mm-mm. No thank you. No thank you. <laughs> well, hello there, astronaut. Are you going into space today? Are you going into space and never coming back like Feldspar did? What? Yeah, the Hornfeld cell says Feldspar went away into space and didn't come back. Hornfeld says Feldspar was the best pilot ever, partner. No one ever knows what happened to him. Hornfels probably shouldn't be telling you stuff like this. Hornfels says that too, partner. But if Feldspar disappeared, you might disappear too, right? You're not as good as... You're not as good as Feldspar. So you should probably be really careful not to get lost, you hear? Okay. Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement of the launch is fun and all, but I can't wait to get back to working on the new ship. We're working on fixing the autopilot's avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. Ain't she a beaut? Ain't she a beaut? Ah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, e Bob. Sure is a beaut. You ship log. Go hollow and deep. 
So I'm guessing we go to Giant's Deep and try to find, uh, uh, um... Oh crap, I forgot his name. There's a guy at Giant's Deep we need to find. Rumor mode. Gabro, Gabro, got it. Alice says Gabro went to Giant's Deep to try to learn more about the Nomai statue in the observatory. Got it. This one. The Nomai text in the observ observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Adel Rock. Oh, maybe we should go to the moon first? Hmm. Maybe the moon first. The moon is closer. Should be. Suit up. Oh, good. First aid. All right. Buckle up. Lift off landing camera. Unbuckle. View map. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, close map. Cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The sun. Wait, the sun is only nine kilometers away? What? Dark ramble, no thank you. Where's the lunar giant steep? I'm getting closer. Adel Rock, there we go. Let's lock on. That is so cool. Engage autopilot. Scout launcher. Equip signal scope. Signal scope. Oh, oh! Landing mode. Cockpit crew. Where's all the bus? Fuel? Okay. Okay. Open hatch.
<gasps> it glows. It glows when you use a thruster. I love that. And it's dark. Oh, I love this. It's dark. I'm scared. Oh, flashlight. Okay, yeah. Oxygen is going down. Okay. Limited fuel for my thruster. Got it. Scope. Oh. Cool. Okay, so there's there's other explorers there. Okay. Put it away. Oxygen tank refilling. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and it could hear and follow the signals from the sun's giant's deep and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye, eye signal. The device Device's indicator rotates wildly, as things are known to do, right? <clears throat> and never points to just one direction. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my pr apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It sends me to posit this, my friends, but I believe that the locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. <clears throat> and we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kasaba. Our search for the eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Oh, okay. This is a curious result. It's possible that the eye stopped calling out its signal. Pick up scroll. Here. Insert scroll. Untranslated no my writing? Translate. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal translocator. Signal locator. Anana and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. The heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has an ample available has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed look. Brittle Hollow. Okay. 
Yes, let's build there. I imagine that our young friend Conoy, Conoy, would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Okay, that's where we go next. Anything else? Good. They record. Okay, wow. Wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Um, okay. Um, time for some official notes. This is some kind of know my locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool. By the way, from what I little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. The eye of the universe. I'm not so sure, but I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. So I think I'll fly there to see if I can learn some more. Yep, just gonna get in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Wait. Good night. Good night. I, I need to, I need to turn it off. How do I turn it off? The death sent a super chat? No way. Wait, really? Thank you. Thank you for making this game. I love it. If if my stupid voiceover bothers you, then I'll stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like the characters a lot. I'm just dumb. I'm just a little guy. How do I make it stop? How do I make this stop? It's like leaving a light on when you're about to leave a room. You have to turn it off. Drag the ball out. Oh. Oh. Wait. That is so cool. Dead in the center? Don't look at chat, please. Okay, okay, okay. No more looking at chat. No more looking at chat. Okay, okay. I gotta go back. I gotta go back to my, my, my boat. Let's go back to the boat. You can see the footsteps. That's so cool. Okay, we're taking a straight line back to the boat. Okay. Uh, ow. Son of a gun. Let's take the suit off. Buckle up. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. Unbuckle. Ship log. Southern Observatory. Let's uh let's go talk to Gabro. Okay. Giant Steep. Got it. But we don't know where he is on Giant Steep, right? Okay. Giant Steep. Okay. 
Oh, oh. Giant Steve. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's getting further away. Uh, maybe we might have to, like, cut across. There we go. There we go. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, the jetpack doesn't work here. Oh, it does. Never mind. Check your gravity. Ah, two times gravity. Okay. Signal scope. No more writing. <clears throat> Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. Inside the island. Back in the boat. Back in the boat. Okay. What? Did I die? What? What? 
<laughs> oh, the shadow is so cool. That's where I was one of the four founding members of the Outer Wilds, along with our Light Coach Gosan, the Slate, the Engineer, and me. As a ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work at Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gosan did, and I can tell you that Feldspar was absolutely fearless, though. Nothing scared them. Test piloted everything that Slate ever... Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It was a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did over all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything that they could find and then one day they just didn't come back and they're still alive it's been a long time since they left gabbro yeah, rebeck my stomach hurt you you did this to me You did this to me. You, you look at me. You look at me. It's like that scene from Forrest Gump. Cheated me out of my destiny! Okay. I'm pretty sure I died. And I went back in time. Do I have to redo all of, like... Well, we'll see once I get into the spaceship. Do I have to, like, redo all of the research that I did? Like, translating stuff? I'm just I'm just gonna experience the game. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna No, no no no, I did it. Okay. I did, I did, uh, this part, and I still have it. Okay, cool, okay. Then, then, like, effectively, like, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, good. Okay. Let's try not to die this time. Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna crash again! Ugh.
please. Just a crumb of landing. Please. I beg you. Okay, fine. Okay, do I do I die when night falls on this planet? If so, they should tell me when night is going to fall. What is this? Oh, that's not good. It's one of the scroll thingies. I need to find a scroll. Oh, here we go. Pick up the scroll. Yeah. Insert scroll. Close. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon. I tell you what. <laughs> There's nothing more than... Finishing an orbital probe cannon, I tell you what. Send it in orbit around Giants Deep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon. Stop, stop calling it that. Install the probe tracking system. Okay. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tire tireless work. I've given up all hope, but I truly believe that this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Daz says, you're going to ge you're going gelatinous on us, love. I'm delighted by your words, but they are atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avans behave together, behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. <clears throat> if I know my brother and his Avans and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried that the cannon would break under the stream. I propose we give Evans and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Again. I don't want to die yet. Brittle hollow projection stone.
in here. Okay. Let's go the other way. To that one. See if we can jump across it using our thrusters. Maybe not. I don't have enough gravity. make that jump I think I have to like go this way right Oh, it's like right here already. Okay. Uh. Okay. Hiding, I'm gonna hide in this like nook. Help! Help! Ugh. Ow! Ow! <clears throat> Long range. Orbital probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon.
I have bad news, Evans. Garrow says that there's a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasaba. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain that they can fix the problem. The orbital probe cannon cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Oh no. Tell Privet and Mallow that you should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you, Dez. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea may feel responsible. But they fired it. But they fired it. Successfully launched. They fired it. Ah, okay, okay. And then it makes the writing appear. Okay, got it. Okay. And what is this? That might be everything I'm gonna get from here. I should just move on. Quit. <gasps> Three minutes of oxygen remaining. I gotta get to a tree. Sweet, sweet oxygen. Okay. We're good. What? heal up. Okay. Okay. I died there. This is where I died. Stuck.
<laughs> this is where my game ends. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm good. Okay, okay. Okay, I just, I just need it. I just need it. I just, I just, I just need it. I just need it. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Oh! Okay, all right, all right, I'm good, I'm good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Uh... Oh, oh okay, exit to repair ship, okay. Okay, let's just, like, land, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh oh, get in, get in. It's getting dark. <laughs> Do I need to like, do I need to leave the planet? Do I need to leave the planet? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I want to see if like the, being in this ship alone is like safe enough. Nope, I'm dead. Okay, the ship will not save me. Okay, good to know, good to know. All right, okay, I'm learning, I'm learning. Okay. Creepy statue brought me back to life. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, got it. like a thick dumpy we should name our spaceship it's unlucky to not name your boat i'm gonna name you the magmo you've got one hell of a dumpy sir damn thicker than a bowl of oatmeal i tell you what all right magmo let's go back Can you land on your own planet? You can. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, that's the moon. Yeah. There's a crater here. Hmm. You know what? Come on. Well. You know what? Lighting. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay.
Cool. Tree? What are you? What are you? Unidentified signal nearby. Nearby signal scope. Hmm? 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 Humanity restored. The note. Despite my checking on them at least a thousand times over, the images are still not ready to print in the radio tower. Well, it's like they say, a watch satellite never transmit data. <laughs> That's a little joke for you, journal. No one says that. Someday I'll have to study the mechanics of how time manages to slow to a syrupy crawl when I'm anticipating something. In the meantime, I've returned to Gabbro, our resident expert, in leisurely whiling away the hours we work on as the following. Gabbro's foolproof steps for dozing off. One. Light a nice cozy campfire and get comfortable. Check. Gaze deeply into the serene warmth. I'll do that after I re finish reading this. Three. Let time begin to slip away as you allow the flames to lull you into a peaceful slumber. That's from an astronaut who deliberately burns their marshmallows. Ah, Bush Television. One time... One time, I was in the middle of nowhere in a campground, bicycle touring, and then I ran into a person from a different country and they called they called uh like looking into a campfire bush television which i thought was pretty clever let's go ahead and roast a marshmallow move stick extend stick Blah, blah. Replace. Goes off. What? Wake up, wake up. Okay. Is that a sport? On a carabiner? Satellite angle. Satellite angle. Play recording. <clears throat> and we're recording. <clears throat> it's been two days. <laughs> it's been two days since you looked at me. <laughs> it's been two days since the launch of the deep space satellite. <laughs> and I'm about to view the first batch of photos. But the records show that on this historic day, Outer Wild Ventures has... Ah, they're printing, they're printing. Here they come. Stars above, will you look at that? There's Brittle Hollow. And look, look there. That's Hollow's Lantern. And there's Giant's Deep. 
and the quantum moon i'm speechless completely speechless every single astral body in our magnificent solar system looking stunning from every angle in each of these three images and in color no less now this is art i could stare at these photos forever doesn't timber heart look tiny from hold on what is that that can't be right i mean that's not even possible am i interpreting this photo correctly What's even stranger is it doesn't show up in either of the photos, just this one. Must have been an equipment malfunction, I suppose. Only sensible explanation for it. A radio gabbro and asked him for an explanation of the satellite's lens for defects. Oh, is it like the rock? Let's get back to our boat. There's like a crater here somewhere that I'm supposed to like look around. Well, I want to go back to back to Jones Deep, but I keep dying there. So basically, when it gets dark, like take off and like leave. We got a skedaddle. We got a boogie. Okay. No, not the Edel Rock. Ember Twin. Little Hollow. The Interloper. There we go. Ember Hearth. Okay, do not crash into it this time. Do not. Don't. don't freaking do it. No. It's getting further away. Wait, what is that? You see that? Wait, 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 wait. It's a little thingy. Is that the spaceship? Okay, I've been there.
This is where I keep dying, I think. Okay. Like checklist. Computer auto equip jetpack. Freeze time while talking to the others. Jetpack auto boost. What is this? Trigger to it's a separate button press anytime an upward thrust is used. I'll turn it off for now. I don't want to die. <gasps> You're a very difficult person to find, Gabro. Magmo sends his regards. Ha! Nice. It's good to see you. Good to see that you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep like dying repeatedly. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, loop makes sense. Cool. You're taking this surprisingly well. Ha! Right back at you. No, 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 no. That's just, that's just my unflappable demeanor, Gabro. On the inside, I am terrified. I have no idea what's going on and I'm freaking out. Personally, I like new experiences. I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing horn bells and asking if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. <laughs> Even if I tell the horn, tell, tell horn bells about the time loop, they never remember Then by the next one, they don't realize anything's different. Here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me, and I'm pretty sure this related to this big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing, ME TOO! And replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes, and just like what happens each time I die. Yeah. You too, huh? And the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So, no glowing statue, no time loop awareness. So you're saying... We need to destroy the statue to leave the time loop. Say less. I found a sledgehammer on the side of the road next to a truck with three traffic cones. I'm just going to sledge the crap out of that statue and we're good, right? I'll be here. Anyway, that's what's to do with me. But hey, this is your first solo voyage, kind of. Let's talk about you. You know? How's space treating you? I found something. I found a photo of you inside the old radio tower. Did it look busy in it? I hope I look busy. Must have been from the time the horn bells sent me to check on the deep space satellite. Yeah, yeah. They thought old Spacey might be malfunctioning. Couldn't find a single thing wrong with it. Come to think of it. This is a map that's generated by the satellite itself, isn't it? It's kind of like inviting us to visit. Good old deep space satellite. Always making sure we know where we're going. 
Why did Hornfels think it was broken? Sometimes I tune out. I pretend that the signals interfered when I can't hear them. I kind of like Gabro. East Space Satellite must have sent Timber Hearts some weird pictures, but what's that considered weird for a satellite? Anyways, if you ever want to visit Old Spacey, the fastest way to jump into your ship and go to the solar system, lock on satellite, same as you would in the astral body. Okay. Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long that it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they'll put you in a trance if you stare at them long enough. What are you doing out here? Wow! What are any of us doing here, really? You know what? That's fair. That's fair. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm not here exploring the solar system, same as you. Well, I'll tell you what, outer space really gives you room to think. Quiet and peaceful out here. True. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. What should I explore? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. Such the island with the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? It was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation scale. Hereby, hereby, shorten to GRS. Just to keep it like, keep it simple, right? GRS. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with two islands connected by a natural rock. That's where I keep dying. That's where I keep dying. What's up with this planet? Ha! I know, right? Oh, you mean like tell you more about it? Gotcha. Well, Di Giant's Deep is this massive and mostly water. No surprises there. There's a strong current. The waves beneath the surface prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could to get past that current, and neither idea worked. <laughs> so you tried twice. As for land masses, I counted four islands, including this one. Look at the Nomai statue I saw on the beach. See the cyclones? They're hard to miss. They toss up everything in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water, less likely to kill you. Ah. Oh. Where's your ship? That's a great question, partner. It's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone came by and tossed it into space, I guess. Yeah, that would be pretty nuts. Hope it's not lonely. What's happening? Uh oh.
Auto mode. Like right here. Aurora Borealis. <laughs> At this time of year, in this part of the hemisphere, localized entirely in your cave. Yes. May I see it? No. Hey Gabro, not to, not for nothing, but uh, you seem to have a you seem to have a ghost matter problem in their cave over there. You want me to, you want me to handle it? Oh, okay. Oh, I died. <clears throat> okay. Lift off landing camera. Okay. What are you? What are you? Okay. Should I be worried about that? No, we're good. Okay, ghost planter there. Good. We go this way. Oh, I fell. I'm dead. It's like right here. Okay. Okay. Is it getting dark? There's my boat. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, no. No, I'm dead. Run, 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 run. No, 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 no. Get out, get out, get out, get out. I don't want to die. 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 Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. 
Get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Fly, 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 you fool. See a nerd? No! Look at me. Look at me. I could kill you right now. And then when I respawn, you'll be alive again. Do you understand me? Do you understand what I'm going through right now? You're lucky I'm in a time loop. Otherwise, I'd be super dead. Right, Magmo. <laughs> you don't like you, and I don't like me. Let's get let's get this let's get this pony show on the road, and then I can go back to killing you slowly with alcohol. Done and done. What is that? What are you? Oh, oh! Okay. Uh. 
That's Gabro's Island. Okay. I think. That's the island that I died at last time. I think that's the thing that kills me every time. That giant tornado. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get out. Wait. We get... It's getting dark. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Left shift in space. Ah, okay, okay. Statue workshop, okay. I hear that. Ah, that's how you climb? Okay. They're going to get the old uh, memory statues tonight. Block says that it could be dangerous, eh? So we can't come. What if they didn't use the door and got sucked the other way? You wouldn't want to? Really want to see the rest too, Lammy, but there's a huge risk to take. Probably shouldn't. Also, let's see the rest later. Specifically told us not to do that. for me. No, there's no way I can do that. Okay, fine. I just need to leave. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, this is where I died last time, right? Yeah, I died here for sure. Uh-oh. Where's my boat? That's my boat right there. Okay. Okay. Can I, like, jump and not die? Oh, I'm gonna die! Okay, let's heal. That's fine. That was a calculated maneuver. Totally. Totally. Okay. <clears throat> Ocean depths. Okay. I don't know my statue. It looks just like the one in our observatory. Ah. Sign for statue workshop next to a broken door that used to lead inside the island. Some know my children debated bypassing the statue's workshop door and sneaking in via an alternative, more dangerous route. Yeah, yeah. Finished building the final module for the orbital probe cannon and sent it into orbit around Giants Deep. Gabbro sees a bright flash in the sky at the start of every loop. Something must be happening in orbit around Giants Deep. Oh. This island is where the Nomai built the orbit. Yeah, okay. Recently launched. There's more to explore here. Hmm. Eye detector. Brittle, brittle hollows, South Pole. Yep. Okay. So we're here. We're on Statue Island. There's a Nomai statue lying on the beach, which I have not found. And then there's a dangerous way into the workshop. Okay, so I'm not done here yet. We're going to go ahead and leave the log. Jump back out there. Where's the statue? Where's the statue? On the beach? No? This is the beach. Uh-oh, it's getting dark. Is it? No, no. No. So I need, like, something here. Is it getting dark? I think it's getting dark. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. We're leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're leaving. See ya, nerds. No, thank you. No freaking thank you. All right.
Not today, Satan. Not today. That's like the... It's an island. It gets like launched up and then it like drops back down. Oh! Oh, and it's pieces of the spaceship! And it's being like dropped down. I want to go to that. Hello. Okay, accelerating towards destination, okay. Firing retro rockets, okay. Autopilot complete. Landing mode. Down thrust. That's the orbital probe cannon island. Okay. There's still stuff here, I, I think. Uh-oh. Still stuff here? There's more to explore here. I mean, no mind. There's a recently launched orbital cannon. Okay. Okay. Is it back here? There's 
scroll. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's no good. <clears throat> Maybe in the water? Oh, it's so slow. I'm definitely going to die here again. Okay. Little hollow projection stone. <clears throat> okay. That's nothing. Oops. back here Ooh Daz and I were lifting the orbital cannon in space component wait is it getting dark okay we're good and one somehow sank beneath the current it's underneath the current Kano, you should have seen it. We thought it would be as impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon itself by using the other cannon parts. We were very curious to see, to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, as it reveals an object might sink below the current. I am unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection tool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I would be delighted to show you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon, and the other at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay. So we have to go to Brittle Hollow. Okay. <clears throat> you good? Well, this is distressing. God, I'm dead. 
Oh, jeez, Rick. I have to go to Brittle Hollow. Rumor mode? Okay. Construction yard, orbital cannon. I hear that. We good? Oh no! No 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 get out get out get out get out no 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 please 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 Are we all going to die? Are we all going to die? I think we're all going to die today. I think today's like the end of the... It's not just me dying. Gavro dies too. And then I leave orbit. And then I see our sun going supernova. Is today just a day that we all die? What? I need, more. I need to talk to Gavro. underwater.
Well, let's try this one again. Let's try this one again. Let's just explore. Ugh. Let's do it. Good. platform here. Okay. Ghost matter. Uh, 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 scout launcher. Okay, don't go through there. Super dangerous. What are you? Boring crashes. Remember to see Slate when I get back. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Consider yourself conquered, Jens Deep. You just got Feldspard! That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Can't wait to tell Hornfels and Gozan about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. You know, this is a big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. Okay, so you went to Dark Bramble. Okay. No, Dark Matter that way. No, it's like right here, right? Yeah. Uh oh. Wait, can I go in? No. Crystal. Okay. Just go around here. Yeah. I've missed it. Damn it. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. This is Gabro's Island. Okay. Okay. Oh! Okay. Oh. Okay. I found something. I found. Wait, never mind. What are you doing out here? Nothing, huh? See you later.
Huh. Reach the core of the giant steep, yeah. Frozen jellyfish camped here before heading down to Dark Ramble, yeah. Reaching the core, yeah. So everything is heading me towards Brittle Hollow, looks like. I can't really do much here anymore. I guess I could go to Statue Island. I don't think there's more I could do here. I think I just have to go to Brittle Hollow, right? All right, let's go to Brittle Hollow. All right, let's do it. Autopilot. <sighs> ah, while we're on the way to Brittle Hollow, I need to let you guys know a little bit of tiny little change in plans, okay? I actually got a meeting in about four hours. I'll stream for another four hours, and then I have to do my meeting. And then depending on how my vocal cords feel and stuff like that, I might do another stream today. I might do another one. I might come back after my meeting is done. I might. I can't give you a hundred percent, but not an idle meeting, like a, a real one. Like a real one, right? If I do come back, I'll probably do something like uh like a like a like a tweet or something and be like, oh yeah, I'll be playing again in like an hour. And then maybe get some food, eat, and then and then play again. I might. It's like 50-50. It depends on like how tired I am. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This thing's really strong. What are we looking at here? Oh, 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 oh. Hello. Oh, hello, sir. You're looking mighty pucker today. What? Uh, flashlight. Let's go up. Ah, writing. Okay. Beneath, beneath your feet lies the tower of quantum knowledge. If you're preparing to take your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. Your knowledge will be held within. Will be. A Held within will help you on your journey. Okay. Okay. What? The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire planet, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see them move. Is that even possible? Oh, it's like the rock. If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either the trees are aberrant, or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There's other matter in this area. It's just an unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. Rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses the color and texture I have never... 
witnessed elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Would it be... It is what is causing other nearby objects to also move about in this area. I mean, you must be able to remove it for a reason, right? Southern Observatory, south, 550 meters. Okay. Entrance to the power of quantum knowledge. Okay. Not gonna mess with that just yet. That's powered down. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's just a leap of faith, right? <laughs> just a leap of faith. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm like super dead. I'm 33.7 kilometers away from... fucking do it oh. oh I died Yada 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 yada, okay, whatever.
What's up, Magmo? Oh, suit. Get in. Buckle up. Engage autopilot. Oh, jeez! <laughs> I almost died. that it looks like a single booba it looks like a single booba I'll land you here hey, it's a spaceship Are you Gabro's spaceship? No. Wait, are you? I'm here! I did it! I put the spaceship down safely. Uh, and that the ship went down and I didn't sustain any bodily harm. A few minor repairs and the ship has never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Bellspar would have barely laughed at me, I bet. Okay. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door is broken. I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I should have found a different entrance by now if, I were, if there were one. Probably. Can't get inside from here, but I know there are other passes below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try to find a way down. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So what you're saying is like, there's no point. Yeah good little clue right there to keep me from like wandering around for like no reason okay let's go okay. <clears throat> All right. oh Okay. 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 I like that. I like what I'm seeing. Okay. Okay. I like it. Beautiful. Ugh! Stone. Okay. I will take you.
I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my way. My first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready, but there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower's on the opposite end of the Brittle Hollow. All the past wet west to the crossroads. Find a tower from there. My gratitude for the directions, Bells. I'll see you soon. Okay. Point. <clears throat> down here. Crossroads. Okay. Hold. Hold further down. Mm, okay. We'll explore. Okay. What are you? Nothing. Okay. Southern Observatory. Okay. Mm, let's not. The shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Activate the gravity cannon. <laughs> you had me a gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. What's the matter, shuttle? Did you get for your home? Did you want to go home? Answer me! Okay, what are you? Ah, okay, okay. Got it. Call the shuttle home. And this one's activity. Got me a gravity cannon. Did I call it home? Are you home yet? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, it's home. And then I'm gonna... Is 
shuttle. Oh, is this the shuttle right here? I mean, it's the oxygen remaining. Shit, I need a train. Shit, 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 I need a train. Uh, uh, I need a treat. You know what, whatever. Oh, cool. I am here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. I need a Seem right. And then I'm back at home. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Ah, okay. As expected, my shuttle landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors, visitors at the South Pole. It's just that this is true. As a child, I considered much such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. And that resets. What does this one do? Eh? Eh? Do I just let it keep going? Do I just do I just let it keep going and eventually I get to the quantum moon? I 
just they just keep going am I gonna die if I leave oh oh are you the quantum moon it's the guy that's like looking at a butterfly and it's like is this the quantum moon the quantum moon are you the quantum moon I dropped this thing because it annoys me. <laughs> Are you the no, you're 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 the giant one. I've gotten bamboozled. I'm gonna go back to that. Okay. give up. I don't know, man. I really don't feel comfortable. Oh, this looks cleaner than this this looks like distorted this means i get screwed this means like we're good to go i'm putting my faith in you don't screw me ring i'm gonna put myself inside of you don't screw me i swear to mag i'm never gonna use you ever again if you freaking screw me over This is Dark Bramble? Hmm. Trying to sleep. Can I even, like, catch up using my fuel? I think I just have to die. Twenty six kilometers away! Uh, 
Okay. 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 Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's freaking die. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready to die. Ah! Ugh. Let's do it. Do it. I'm ready. Do it. Woohoo! Okay. Well, I just want to die. I just want to die. Ugh. Gun is Island. Okay. Hey, hey, this is Gabro's Island. Oh. Oh god. Yeah, bro, come here. Percent fuel remaining. Uh oh. Second option. No, 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 no. I need more fuel. I just have to wait until the death event starts, right? And then I can restart and then jump back into my spaceship. Oh, you want me to teach you? It'll be the next... Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh. Okay. Shut up, I already know the launch codes. Hello, Magmo, my old friend. Job pilot. <laughs> it just does that every time. I come to fly with you again.
interesting you. You look nice. <gasps> The Hanging City. Okay. Hmm? Map? <clears throat> to our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from the White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anana's original design, but as long as we... What we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it, Kasava. I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell Kasava. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Hmm. Shut up. There's probably a little, like, thingy we could put in here, right? Has anyone observed the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky? Your thoughts interest me. I compliment your eyes. How could you... How do you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Hmm. I'm interested in your playful moon. <laughs> is it much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern? This moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. Sometimes it leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles this planet appear random. It appears to travel as it likes. Okay. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Two volcanic moons! Maybe more! Imagine! Then I imagine there'd be none of us left. Hypothesis. There can exist too much lava. I'd strongly prefer that we test a null hypothesis. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, did I miss anything? 
don't think so. There's like another ruin over there, but... Okay. It's about to get here. Can I go over there? Ah, the elevator down. You're right, you're right, you're right. I, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have checked. Is this a... Uh, is this just rock? It's just rock. Let's go ahead and like refuel everything. Let's go refuel. Let's just let's just refuel and then we'll go down there. Yeah. Wait, what are you? No? Nothing? Okay. Okay. We're good? Okay. Open hatch. broken it's broken I can't go hmm. I go below hmm. okay let's just keep going that ruin anything else looks like we're good here anything else I don't want to go back there no thank you <clears throat> oh what is this where are you where are you Well, I want to land somewhere safe. Pilgrim? Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Can I get back up? I, I don't think I can get back up. Can I get back up? I think I can. Oh, I definitely can. Wait, can I? Yeah, I definitely can. Okay, we're good. Okay. What are you? I didn't an unidentified signal nearby. Signal scope. Give me.
This is a D12, if I recall correctly. This is a D12. But it appears to be in between rolls. We don't know what it's rolled. Okay. And it's like attached to this dude right here. Is everyone unharmed? <clears throat> no one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods. Distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I will continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can... Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone, brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everybody to climb safely down the cliff. Perhaps we can build platforms. Okay. So this is like a distress beacon. Change frequency? Ah, this is like a this is like a broken down ship. Okay. Can I get on there? I can. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Hello. Begin flight log. Escape pod one. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Launching escape pod three. Launching escape pod two. Now launching escape pod one. Alert. Collision imminent. Preparing for impact. Scanning external environment. Scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict, hospitable. Okay. I don't know what you are. Emergency escape hatch. Risk it. Do I want to risk it? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. 
we'll settle down where we were and then just risk it. Okay. Uh, 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 uh refill. Get me back up there. <clears throat> No, I don't want to go to Black Hole again! I don't want to go to Black Hole again! No! No! I don't want to go to Black Hole again! No! There! There! Put me there! Put me here! Put me here! Put me here! Oh. No! I don't want to go to Black Hole again! No! 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 to Brazil. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna, die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! Okay. Ooh. Hey, the interloper. Oh, but you're like really far away. 50% fuel remaining. I have to like get ahead of it, right? Plot an intercept course. How do I speed up my death? Pause. Oh. Meditate until next loop.
Metal rock. Engage autopilot. What are we doing? Autopilot is your enemy too. Oh, that's the volcanic moon that everybody's afraid of. Interesting. Oh, autopilot complete. Okay. Landing mode. Okay. Down thrust. I believe we've already been there. I think we've been here. I think we have. Wait, what is that? Can you see that? Let's just check it out, just in case. Oh. <clears throat> have we been here yeah, we have, definitely. There was something I didn't see before that. What are you? Plume, Felix, and I have determined that the atypical shard of rock is the reason the objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior is in this grove are related. Ah, maybe the rock is the shard from the moon. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions that this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on this little planet. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis, this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, the unique signal coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon sounds the same. We've also heard that the same signal of this shard produces calling out from giant steep timber heart. Wait, suppose there are other shards like this one. Oh, is that how you sink straight to the bottom? Okay. Uh. That our quantum knowledge. Send the steps, the knowledge shall. Okay. Yeah, and then, yeah, 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 yada, 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 yada. Okay. Let's, let's check our notes. I feel like I've gotten a little bit confused. No my phantom moon that could sometimes appear in the sky. No my named Solanum landed a shuttle on the quantum moon. Okay. Landed her shuttle at the quantum moon's south pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. Visitors to the quantum moon always arrive on the south pole for reasons unknown to the Nomai. Generates a strong upward gravity field. I recalled a Nomai shuttle from the quantum moon. <clears throat> this tower located the brittle useful for knowledge okay power of quantum knowledge on the brittle hollows equator can learn one final rue before embarking okay quantum signal coming from somewhere on giant's deep probably in the center there needs to be like a shard will drop to the bottom maybe detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on timber hearth maybe it's that rock that I defeated. 
detected a quantum signal coming from hourglass twins. Okay. Recreated warp technology. There is a uniquely shaped Nomai ruin on the surface. Okay. Here to violate causality. Okay. 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 Uh, let's just refuel just in case. You know we're good. Okay. Shut up. How do I get down there? There we go. Oh no, it's this again. Do I have to? I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. I see now, it makes me go up. This makes me go down. I see now. What is this? Oh, I dropped the scout. Can I drop the scout? No. Below 90 meters. I mustn't be afraid. I mustn't be afraid. I mustn't be afraid. I mustn't be afraid. Welcomed in this place, above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and attain the last knowledge you will need for your journey. Okay, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> no. No, we dare not look at the... The cursed hole. No, 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 no. Based. I'm dead. Ow. I can't go like okay.
I can't. Bells, I can't. What do I do? I, I can't! It's broken! What do I do? <laughs> Please don't make me. <laughs> Please don't make me. No, that's definitely not right. Three minutes of oxygen remaining? Okay, well, I'm gonna go back to the boat then. Absolute terror. The absolute fear. I'll kill you. I swear to God, I'll kill you if you throw me into the black hole again. I'll kill everyone. So, 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 okay. This is like an ancient ruin, and this thing is supposed to be like unbroken, right? And you just walk up to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, and you learn what you need to learn up there, right? But we can't do it because it's broken, right? So now we have to go back into the hole, right? We have to go back into the stupid freaking hole. I swear to Meg, freaking I swear, I swear to God, if if this sends me back into the hole, what was that? Oh, that's our scout. Okay. All right. All right, come back. I missed. Oh, you launched! Well, that's great! Great job, you! Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Hmm. This is brittle hollow, but you probably do that. Lot of history here, it's great! What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. 
An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only... You've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously. I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. You want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Tripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere where my little scout says it's halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. <sighs> Alright, Becky boy. Let me tell you about what happens when you get sucked down below. I have a PhD in getting sucked down below. I am a guest lecturer. <laughs> <laughs> Harvard University. <laughs> okay. <sighs> well, I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place with the best surface integrity. So I'm just gonna stay here until I'm ready to die. Good move. Well, that's enough about me and my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be... Yeah. I learned something. Oh, cool. Uh, what is it? I found the Nomai escape pod on Brittle Hollow. Wow. So the Nomai probably came here in search of the solar system. Outside, somewhere outside the solar system. Uh, they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod, but what kind of trouble? And where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious. This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about why the Nomai arrived here. Where should I explore here? Oh, wow. Where shouldn't you explore here? Uh, not the black hole, actually. That's very... no. You don't say. <laughs> it's gonna kill my throat. No, 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 no more, no more, no more, no more. Which is unfortunate because the most exciting stuff is below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also this big dome on the South Pole known it's called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me. Oh, you're the guy. You're the guy that left the message. Dude, your ship is like completely dead. You're gonna die here. Unless you steal my ship, but if you did that, I would kill you. I would kill you. And I would <laughs> wear your skin like Buffalo Bill if you tried to steal Magmo. Don't even think about it. You're gonna die here on this planet. Let's just be real. Just, to, just accept it. But if it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here, there's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Uh, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it. If it's not too much trouble. It's not too much trouble. I'd be delighted to tell you about the Nomai. Sorry I said I would wear your skin like a suit. What are you doing out here? Me? I'm an archaeologist, remember? Or, um, the archaeologist, I guess, seeing as I'm all timber has got right now. Brittle Hollow is rich with no my history. That's why I'm here. This planet is an absolute treasure trove of culture, history, and science. Okay. <sighs> I am having fun. I apologize. I'm not like making light of the game. It's like it's like a good game. I'm into it. I should stop effing around, making it sound like I'm not into it. <clears throat> If you have any knowledge about Brittle Hollow Nomai, I'm your Harthian. Or, uh, I have some knowledge of them, I mean, so maybe I could help. Okay. See you later, buddy. Ksha! Ksha!
Ah, I see now. It's split, so I have to like choose one. Okay. That's going back, right? Yeah, it's going back. So I need to like... It loops back around. Okay. Surface integrity 90? I don't like that. So you jump here and you die. Got it. Okay. One more shot. Yeah, and then you die. Or not. Yeah, you die. Yeah. 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 Ah ha ha I'm very familiar with that. What? What is, what is, what is, what is, what is, hello, hello, wait a second, hello, hello, what are you? Oh, I've already done this, I think. Ow.
What are you? Until next loop. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Spaceship. Stupid spaceship. The stupid camera. Caution. 
black hole straight sleep below you must not slip no Don't give me that malarkey That's really pretty. I like that. That's a nice color. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Okay. Concerns about our settlement stability should we construct a new, less temporary shelter. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. Building beneath the crust again would shelter us from volcanic moon's eruptions. Oh. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? We need to stay close to the escape pod so the Felix could monitor the incoming messages we can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. I don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. We must now save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the eye signal called to us and we followed. If we are to find it, we need not merely survive, but thrive. This is a wise point, Plume, and eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do, okay? Ah, this is the way to the northern glacier, okay. This is like their settlement, okay. This knowledge is too dear to lose. It's everything we can recall about the signal we recovered while aboard the vessel. <clears throat> the signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center with much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. No Nomai clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. Oxygen's getting a little bit low. I think I can get back up. We shouldn't dilly dally. We should explore quickly so we can find a new oxygen source. ASAP. Anything? Is this the space? Yeah, this is where, like. Hmm. Let's just do it. Is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost, or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt Melore. Understand why did the vessel crash in that place? We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong, it wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Oh. 
Was the vessel unwell in some way? No. Anona and I checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. So this is the vessel. This is the eye of the universe. And then they warped. And then they got, like, tangled, and now they're stuck. And little pieces of their ship got ejected. So the ship is broken. And it's ejecting pieces. This looks like the, the twin planet. Look at this box. Shit. Shit. <gasps> oh. Oh. Glorious. Glorious tree. <gasps> Mwah! Mwah! Thank you! Okay. Praise the tree! Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. So it looks like the ship broke, right? You see, it's got these little, like, little side doohickey things, right? And then the sh Oh, these are escape pods! Oh, they're escape pods. It's not that we can fix the ship. It's not that we can fix the ship. It's that these are escape pods, and they, they escape to different... This is, like, the twin planet. This is, like, some other planet that I don't know. I'll probably figure out about it. And this is, like, I don't know. I don't know, man. You tell me. This is as far down as it goes, right? Yeah, this is the room with the, the paintings. Okay. We go back up. Back up. Oh, more trees. You can hear the other escape pods distress signals, which gives me hope. Bully, are you still here? I'm unsure how to survive this place without you. Kosa, unsure how to be without you. Oh, that's kind of sad. Good for you. Good. He went that way, I think. I see that. Okay. This way? I already went this way. I'm getting lost. I wish I knew. Nope. I wish I knew which way to go. That way is the way that I came, right? Because I read all that. Let's just let's just go clock counterclock uh, clockwise. I've already been here. I came back up this way. Okay. Okay. Next. 
that way. Here, here, here next. Okay. This looks fairly new to me. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, it's new. Bloom says, my brother was not in escape pod one with us. Was he in pod two or pod three? Was he able to board an escape pod at all? We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot, I will not allow our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. Go back up. Yeah. already went here. Oh. What is this? Have you already been here? Oh, I'm dead. Well. Hey man, I just want you to know that I, I don't hate you. I don't hate you, man. You're all right.
Get far enough from the planet first. And then engage autopilot. Much, too much, too much! I'm gonna lie! I'm gonna lie! I'm gonna lie! <sighs> so that was a dead end. That's the way to the the sealed place though. What happened? Do I need something? I need to go somewhere else and get something? Hmm. I need to get into that big booba. Okay. Well. I'm back here, I guess. This is the way to the... Uh, That's a dead end, I think. This one spit me onto the black hole, but I don't- I no longer fear the black hole. I don't. I no longer fear the black hole. I just reset instantly. It's fine. Can't really hurt me anymore. So this one's broken and it, like, spits me out nowhere. This one also appears to be broken it's just beyond nowhere oh uh, okay that's why i died and if you reverse it also spits you out nowhere so this one is just like effed up they're supposed to put you there i see Make sure to look before you go into one of those stupid things, right? I did this loop and it was nothing. Do I just need to like take a leap of faith? Fuck it. Let's just do it. Oh. Okay. Again. Hello. Blah, 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 blah. I'm in a hurry. I saw the old settlement. Bombarded with meteor and rocks.
What is it? I'm so curious. It's an amazing discovery. Hope we can find out why no one might. Okay. Black hole. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hanging city. South observatory. Yeah. Yeah. See you later. Later. This goes back the way that we came. What the hell is this? I don't think I ever took this, right? What is this? Whoa! That goes straight into the black hole. Oh, I hate that. No, oh, thank you. Why would they build that? Why would you build that? Huh. Oh. Hello? So now we're back at the beginning. Okay. <clears throat> Is that it? Is that the only loop that we can take? Goes into a black hole. Boom. Have I gone here before? <sighs> I'll try it. You can't control it. like you have to like I'm going back to the beginning okay. oh it's the way back I think what no 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 how do I get there I have to get there like I've never gone there before how do I get there Jetpack? Do I want to risk it? Oh, well, whatever. Whatever. Fuck it. Get in there. Oh, <gasps> it worked. But it didn't do anything. There's nothing here. Damn it. There's nothing here. It just leads to the same place. Huh. Okay. Huh. This usually gets me killed right here. 
This usually gets me killed. Three minutes of oxygen room. Perfect. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, can I like jetpack? There we go. I probably should have gotten oxygen because now I'm gonna die. Die, your old man. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. Here. Okay. And then jump over to the other side. Okay. okay. Maybe here. Ah, over there maybe. Okay. Okay. Flash one more. Say less. There, here, here. Oh, don't die. Okay. Ghost matter, just kill me, just kill me. Just let me die. Just let me die. Fine. Okay. We made progress, right? We made progress. Now I understand. Okay. All right. No, we're good. We're good. I approve. I approve. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Let's go. I love this game. It's really good. I'm having like a ton of fun. I definitely am going to finish it. All right. Show me the way to the island. Show me the way. Where are you? There it is, right there. Am I in space? Can I engage autopilot? <sighs> Are you sure the game will not finish you before? I don't know. I don't know. It's a good game, though. It's really fun. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Landing mode. Get in there. Get in there. Not too much, idiot. Okay. Not the ice caps. I've been there before. There's like nothing. Right there. Right there. There we go. There we go. Don't worry about it. Shut up. We're good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Perfect landing saved by nature. Okay. It fits like a glove. Okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Whoa. 
Which one did I do? I forgot. I think I did the the further one, right? I launched from the further one, I think. I, think I launched from the further one. I think I launched from the further one. I think I launched from that one, yeah. I think I launched from this one. Boom. Oh. Okay. And then now we do like the platformy thing, right? Boost. Okay. Get here. And then platform onto there. Okay. 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 Go that way. Okay. Then we go this way. Now this is the the stuff, right? Right here. Okay, this is where I died. Okay. And then there's ghost matter here. Oops. Uh, photo mode. There's like a. Do I have to go over? I think I go over, right? I have to boost over. So it's like right in front of this beacon right here. I have to like boost over. Oh, I'm gonna die! Ah! 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 Don't let me die! Ah! No! 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 Oh shoot, I accidentally closed it. No, we're still here. Landing gear damage. <sighs> let's be honest, besties. Let's be like perfectly honest. We're not going to need a landing gear. We're going to die before we need to go back there, right? We're, we're going to die. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We're going to die. Don't worry about it. We're good. That it? That is. Perfect. Good. That's fine. Get out. Get out. I'm not even going to repair. We're good. Later, boat. <laughs> this is not... There's no return flight. <laughs> Listen, I will bet you... I will bet you, like, a thousand dollars. Like... We're going to die down here. <laughs> we're going to die down here. I bet you a thousand dollars we're going to die down here. <laughs> this is our grave. Brittle Hollow is our grave. I guarantee you. 
I guarantee you that Brittle Hollow is our grave. Okay. All right. Boom. You get launched. Oh! Ah! Autopilot into the sun. Find out? You know, maybe I should. But we got stuff that we need to do. Oh, 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 fuck! Not that one. Not that one. Right there. There we go. Identified signal nearby one. Chase some time off. Boom. You love it. In this house, we appreciate peak efficiency. Boom. Get launched. Ah, the trick is like not to boost too much. Just like right there. Okay, perfect. Okay. That's the trick right there. Don't boost too quickly. Okay, get on there. Boom. Get on here. Just across. Much. Okay. We're good. We're good. Just across, not too much, just a touch. It's like fishing in Stardew Valley. That's the best way that I could describe it. Just just a touch, just a touch. Don't ever go too hard. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Ah! We're fine. Oh! 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 So, so gravity is falling that way, right? So what I need to do... Oh, maybe like here? 
Oh, there's like a nice little handy. Okay, hold on a second. Oh no. I see. What? No, no. So when I jump, it's gonna like reorientate and then I need to like boost onto there. Boost over here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Next, I think. I think. Up there. Can I do it? Can I do it? I think I can do it. Oh, that's too far. Too far. Too far. Okay. Okay. Up there. There next. like a little thingy there you sure no 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 there's a thing right here i see it Crouch and take a dump in this hole right here. Shut up! Kisava's construction yard has been using the cyclones in the Giant's Deep to lift the orbital space program part probe cannon parts into orbit. But one component was pushed down past a current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It's now clear that there are two different types of cyclone. There exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins in the opposite direction and pushes objects between the waters and below the current. Oh. My gratitude spire, Kanoi, is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone, but is it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring, monitoring Giant Steep. I also... <laughs> also, I very much wanted to make a model. That's kind of cute. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. Fair. There are cyclones on Kasava. These are the cyclones Kasava typically uses to send components into orbit. So we want one that goes counterclockwise. Conroy, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components to orbit assembly, and one somehow sank beneath the current. Conroy, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Convince me not to try to recreate the one on one, but how could we. Wait, well, I've already read this. 
My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory. Oh, we're at the Southern Observatory. Cool. And it reveals how an object might sink below the current. I'm able to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface of the South Pole, you'd be direct, we'd be delighted to see you. I'd be delighted. There are two trailheads. Okay, yeah. Okay. This is a telephone. I think it's a telephone. They're communicating, I think. we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to this star system but we were unable to warp to the eye itself the locator we built on the Adel rock and the new more sensitive locator that we built here were both unable to detect any source of the eye signal hypothesis the eye is stopped emitting its signal suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found Kusava, how can you suggest that the eye signal called us called out to summon us to the star system. <clears throat> I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye story. It were no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe that the eye is in orbit around this star. This would mean that the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, enormous range. It's like a quantum thing, right? Oh, these are broken. Okay. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know that the eye, what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant's Deep would be a good place. It's furthest from the sun. It would provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless except when the quantum moon is visiting. The quantum moon moves! It moves between the planets. Let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Because we can't find the giant signal... We should just continue the search method. Oh. So they built the orbital cannon, but it didn't work. We have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Remy and Pi about the technology that they're developing? read everything? I think I did. I think I read everything. <sighs> okay. What is that? What is that? There's something over there. Or 
What are you? Error. Unable to determine orbit. No signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Okay, so now I know how to get underneath the thing, right? Now I know how to get underneath the thing. I just need... This one is going counterclockwise. This one's going clockwise, right? The clockwise one will, like, shoot you into space, and the counterclockwise one, you just go into it, and it'll suck you in. Okay. Like a toilet. Can I open you from the inside? Nice. Do you work? I have to go back. I have to go back to my boat. <sighs> please, please tell me this stays open. Please tell me this stays open even after I die. Shut up! Please tell me that. Should I just jump into the toilet and die? Wait, there's no way back. Is there no way back? This thing can't be reversed, right? This thing just shoots me up, right? Yeah. There's no way back. You just opened the door out. is so far away the planet isn't that large okay fine all right walk back to my boat i can be stupid oh it is pretty fast actually Oh, it's too fast. Oh, it's too fast. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay. Okay. Fuel. Okay. Buckle up. A big juicy planet. Where's the thick one? Where are you? <gasps> oh shit! Not today, black hole. Not today.
basically just like feather it, right? Okay, that one is going clockwise. That one's going counterclockwise, right? This one's counterclockwise. This one right here. Get in. Oh. Damn it. Where, where do I fix it? Here? Okay. Here we go. What? Is there a way to like get up there? Ah, oh, I see now. Okay. Get up there? No, there isn't. Damn it. Too far now. There we go. Good. No, no, no. Put, put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. That's the big one. That's going clockwise. What? 
This is the one that's going counterclockwise, looks like, right? No, that's going clockwise, for sure. This one's going counterclockwise right here. Yeah, this one right here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Suit on. Read the log. Oh, we made a lot of progress. Oh, baby. Oh, we made some progress. Okay. Oops. Migrate to the old settlement. Gravity crystals to craft a stable path that needs to surface. There's a huge Nomai city just to the north. Rebix campsite. Okay. All three Nomai city. All three. Yeah. Damage. Something called the vessel. Yeah. The vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. Oh, okay. So the ship itself is like in the Dark Bramble. Okay. Maybe, maybe the Nomai are still alive, like in Dark Bramble then. Never made it out Dark Bramble. Wait, is it like the vessel itself? Yeah, the vessel crashed. Okay, interesting. One of the three Nomai, Hourglass Twins, got it. Yeah. like too sensitive okay. there's wait what there is a white hole station on the other side of brittle hollows black hole what's a white hole station several nomai returned to the station to investigate an equipment reading that appeared to violate causality what Nomai and Brittle Hall observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. Nomai named Solem landed a shuttle on the quantum moon. Yeah. This, this tower located on Brittle Hollow's equator held useful knowledge. Yeah, but I can't get to, into the tower. A Nomai named Solon, Solanum was the first. Was told to visit the Tower of Quantum Knowledge on Brittle Hollow's equator to learn one final rule before embarking on her pilgrimage. The Nomai detected a quantum signal from somewhere on Giant's Deep. Okay. Timber Hearth, that's like our home planet right here. Quantum signal coming from somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> the Nomai's 
that you want. God. There we go. Debated bypassing the worst. Yeah, by sneaking an alternate more dangerous route. Okay. I used a know my projection tool and saw the interior of a space station in orbit around. Yeah. The Nomai decided to construct a probe cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Gabbro sees a bright flash in the light at the start of every loop. Something must be happening in orbit around you. Feldspar headed off to Dark Ramble after reaching the core of Giant's Deep. Okay. So I have to, I have to reach the core and I have to find... Feel... Wait, wait, what? The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Ah! <laughs> like an EMP. I know my computer long range probe. Yeah. Good. Overcame their fear of space. Yeah. Terror of black hole. Okay, I think. <sighs> Does that mean I need to head down foot? That doesn't seem right. This one. This one, right? No, no, no. That one's going clockwise. This one's also going clockwise. This one's going clockwise. This one. It's supposed to sink into the core, right? Did I make it? You already broke through the current. Oh. Interesting. So then what do I do once I'm here? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hmm? 
I was supposed to go into the core. Hmm. Okay, well, I made it through the current, but I guess people are telling me that, like, I don't have the clues to do anything here. Which sucks, I guess. White hole, I can investigate that. Quantum moon. I can I can go towards quantum moon, right? That's a quest line that I could do. Wait, hold on. Quantum signal coming from somewhere in Giant's Deep. Yeah. Zoom in. Cool. Uh, here. <sighs> yeah, Rose Island, Statue Island. I haven't done that one. Main source of explosions on this planet. Disappointed by the failure to protect now. Bottom of the crossroads. New, more sensitive locator. Yeah, based on their knowledge, no one believes that the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. Ah, in the Kuiper Belt. Okay. Nomai decided to stop searching for the eye signal and instead look for it visually by sending out your concerns about the probability of launching it. Yeah. Most cyclones in Giants Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones that Nomai use to send components to orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins in the opposite direction, pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. For some reason, a Nomai, Nomai long-range space recently launched. A long-range probe was recently launched from the orbital space probe cannon. So, did Feldspar do it? The island of the thorny vines would appear to be frozen jellyfish. It looks like Feldspar camped here before heading off to Dark Ramble. Do I head to Dark Ramble? Some sort of electrical field surrounds the... Okay, so we have to, like, we can't get past it. Hmm. Dark Ramble. Never made it out of Dark Ramble. We know my escape pod now. Hourglass twins. Okay. Oh, 
quantum signal giants ape useful knowledge quantum moon wanders when no one is watching the nomad determines this shard is the reason why objects in the grove behave in a quantum manner no my hypothesis about the protection quantum moon the shard emits the same signal as the quantum moon Sometimes appear in the sky. I need a shuttle. Even North Pole covered. There's a uniquely shaped. Yeah, I went there. Warp here from. The Nomai were able to warp here from White Hole Station. This is where they first recreate. What? There's a White Hole Station? There's a White Hole Station? What? I like literally don't know where to go. So Do I go to Dark Bramble now? That's the only thing I can think of. I guess I could go to the other one, the twins. Not the sun. Not the sun. Ember twin. I think I should go to Dark Bramble, why not? Yeah. kind of cool. I like the twins. Autopilot, why? I don't even remember how many lights there are, right? There are three lights. You guys remember that? You guys remember that? Nice reference. Oh, hello. You look cute. Oh.
it's not good. Okay. All right, back to work. Okay. It's on the suit. That's for you're a roasting marshmallows or a roasting hot dogs kind of guy. Probably hot dogs. Probably. In general, I prefer like meat over sweets. I'm like a meat kind of guy. All right, so we're gonna say F it to the uh, the autopilot. And we're just, you know what? No, I'll just cancel autopilot. Like when I get close enough, right? Cancel it here, and then... Oh, jeez. This thing is, like, fast! Whoa! What? Well, I autopilot it, and it, like, messed me up, right? I autopilot it, and then it, like... Straight up, like, messed me up, right? Are you sure that's the right play? Do I autopilot again? Bug? Okay. Alright, we'll do, we'll do one more, we'll do one more autopilot, and if it crashes me again... Are you sure about that? So we just like land on one of the platforms, I guess, not the center. Oh, bonk. Something broke. Yeah. Basically, we just kind of like look around. Kind of look around until we find something interesting and then land. There's nothing interesting there. Probes, my dude. I don't know how I feel about probes. I don't know. Honestly? Nothing? Nothing on the surface? I think we... Hmm. Okay. Probes? Probes? Alright. I say so.
Okay. Okay. There's the thing that ate me. Kind of cute. TBH. Okay. I feel like I'm going out the other side now. And I hit something. Okay. So now I can, like, look around. There's nothing on the surface, I guess. There's nothing on the surface. <sighs> I just have to like go in. What is that? Oh, I'm just so bad. I'm gonna back off. I'm gonna back off and then. Nice and easy. There you go. Nice and easy. There you go. Okay. Easy. Easy does it. Set towards the red one, yeah. It'll be fun. Okay, get away from that. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Looking at me. Ah, shit. Come on, man. Eat this. Eat whatever this is. Come on, man. Ah. Okay. So basically, I explore the core. Dark Bramble is you explore the core. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. <sighs> Slate, this better not, like, awaken something in me. Alright? If this results in, like, a new fetish... I should not have played this game. I don't think it will, though. I don't think it will. Don't worry, don't worry, it's don't worry. I'm just being I'm just being facetious, don't worry about it. Don't worry. <laughs> just gonna say, I was gonna say something, but like I would feel bad for the people that like I would feel bad for the people that like just, Like at least <laughs> nothing I'm not gonna say it <laughs> no 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 I feel I feel bad no because it's like kink shaming it's kink shaming 
It's kink shit. I was gonna say like at least <laughs> at least something into feet. <laughs> Which is like I think this being eaten is probably worse. It's probably worse than feet. Feet are just like whatever. Oh, it's way too fast. Way too fast. Oh, oh way too fast. Ow! Okay. Who needs the upper hole? Whatever. We're gonna die anyways. We're gonna get eaten. We're gonna do a little bit of exploring. Okay. You can use the cam. There's the core. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Very carefully make your way there. Launch scout. Oh, okay. Saw a fishy boy over there. I saw a fishy boy. Maybe the headlights are what like. You just go straight through. Yeah, there's the fishy boy. Is that it right there? Are you the fish right there? Inside. Kotowaru. Kotowaru. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. I'm going in. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, damn it. Are you excited? Kinda. I gotta admit, like... It is kind of fun. Like, learning how to find control, like... I think I'm getting better at controlling my ship. A little bit. So... Show it to me. Uh, Dark Rumble's like on the opposite side. Okay. Got it. Wait. 
There it is. Alright. Okay. Should I go to the twin planet first instead? I don't know. Twin planet first? I don't know. What meeting? I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'll try Dark Bramble one more time. And then I'll do the twins. Good. Am I about to get? We good? Oh, we're good. Okay. Cool. into the hole. I guess I should... Oh, I saw something. Did you see that? Came a little bit up. There's like a center. Did you see that? There's like a little like core. Right there. What is that? You see that? 
Uh, mission control, are you seeing what I'm seeing here? What is that? Shoot a three-pointer like Stephen Curry. Oh, chat covers it slightly. Okay. Right there. Looks like get ahead. Get out and touch it? You do not have my best interest in mind. For sure. You are a member of Magnation for sure. Get out and touch it. It stops right here. Is this nothing? Is this truly nothing? It's nothing. Go out and enter. Am I gonna freaking do it? Am I like literally gonna do it? Match. I'm doing this. hate you guys. doesn't work it like it like match plus the probe like it stops right there see
error duplicate signal? What? Alright. Let's go into sphincter number two. See what this is all about. Nice and easy. Ah, crap. There. Wait! There's like a- there's like a fish that's like stuck there! Let's go make fun of it! There's like a fish that's stuck there! Do you see that? Hold on. Look, it's stuck! Let's go make fun of it! Hey, let's go bully it! Okay. Error duplicate signal. Is it four lights or three lights? Or five lights? There are five lights! Or four, right? Four lights. And then there's like three. And it's like the Cardassians are, the Cardassians are like trying to get Picard to like lie, right? They're basically like punishing him and trying to get him to like not admit the truth. Yeah. Oh shit. There were four lights, yeah. There are an unknown number of lights. They want to break him. Oh. Oh, this feels good. I'm not gonna lie, this feels really good. Idiot. Oh, how the turntables. You thought you were the cock of the walk. And now... Your, your mouth is just like a tree hole. You're just a hole for trees, you idiot. You thought. You thought. You thought. Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that right there? Did you drink too much dumb bitch juice? <laughs> oh, that's so sad. I feel bad for you. I do. I do. Okay, now I'm going to go inside of you and like figure out like what's your deal. Idiot. <gasps> A campfire! We made it! Oh, I'm stuck on Match velocity, okay. The match velocity tool is actually pretty good. How do I land? Do I just have to like match velocity like that? And then can I, can I like jump out? It's zero G, you don't land. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, there's a little like crystal thingy. Yeah. You're alive! Wait, is my ship okay? Oh, I'm on fire. I swear. Well, let's use the... Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's been in here for... Well, ever, actually. <laughs> That's what makes you the second heart the end to ever reach the Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you! They made you an astronaut? You haven't blown yourself up yet? Good for you! Well, actually, Feldspar, my man. Well, actually. 
Would you believe me if I told you that I had been blown up? Shot into space? Sucked into a black hole? Eaten by giant fish? Somewhere in the ballpark of like 40 times? Something around like 40? Something around 40 times? We all thought you were dead for sure. What? Me? Killed off by thorny extra dimensional plants with entirely violate the laws of space and time with a couple of giant predatory fish with gaping maws and enormously sharp fangs? Not in this time, little buddy. I set up camp here when my ship got stuck in the dark bramble. Been living off the land ever since. What exactly happened to your ship? Oh, this is a good story. I just finished exploring the core of Giants Deep and needed a new challenge. None of us had ever been inside Dark Bremble, so I think, hey, let's give it a try. I cruise around for a while, dodging that odd, massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns. I run into this huge anglerfish. Biggest I've ever seen. Pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off, nothing too fancy. Moving at full speed and the fish clips me, knocks me onto a vine and... Well, like I said, crash! Blammo! On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, with me inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. Hey! It's either move fast or die unpleasantly. So I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. Kept out near where I crashed at first, and I found this skeleton later. Great fine. Would have been stupid not to use it. I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency three seeds. Been here ever since. Can't believe you didn't die. You know, back in the old days, I used to think that every time I came back from flight and... I used to think the same thing every time I came back from flight in one piece. Ah, these days I'm used to it. Anyway, that's how it all went down, hatchling. Story's over, but uh, feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. What the fuck? Bada bing, bada boom! Hey! Anyway. What the? I found something. Actually, never mind. Where should I explore? That's a spirit! Anyways, good, but you should know that the space is weird out here. Intensely so. Ever tried throwing your scout into one of those weird seeds? See there with the little opening? Just big enough to launch one through. Your scout will tell you where the scout is in two places at once. I saw that. Yeah, duplicate. But I don't think that's wrong exactly because space doesn't don't work right in here. The seed looks small, but see, inside it's bigger. Yeah, I did notice that. Much bigger. Hey. Sit on it. <laughs> Sounds familiar. He hates us! <sighs> I had lots of time to think about this and my theory is in Dark Bremble. Space in Dark Bremble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside of these seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep in mind that whenever you're exploring Dark Bremble and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. Okay. You reached the core of Giant Steep. How did you do it? Ah, that was a wild one. Since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself here yet, right? If I tell you now, it feels... Oh, you piece of... You know how hard... Oh. Oh, oh, you... You scallywag. the electromagnetic field how many times do I have to teach you this lesson old man hailing this anglerfish look for a flickering light my old ship past starts there oh the skeleton who was here when I got here it was like this when I got here 
And he was like, I could tell the anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eating the seed. And the seed grew in the poor fish's stomach until, well, this happened. Ah! Say less. I've watched Alien. You guys know what I'm talking about? The fish got Alien. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gross, huh? I actually think it's kind of based, but okay. This skeleton was a good find. Keeps the fish away. See the territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Oh. Shouldn't I tell ground control to come get you? Well, yeah, sure. Whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quiet. Peacefulish. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. It's been nice to have a break. Is that me? It is. Feldspar, I swear to Mag, if you steal my ship, if you steal my ship, I will eat your children. You can't kill me. I keep respawning, right? If you, if you steal my ship, I'm going to meditate until I die, and then I will respawn back at home, and I will eat your children. I swear to Mag, do not steal my ship, okay? Boom, idiot. I'm watching you. Okay, where am I going? Wait, am I in, in the wrong area? Wait, wait, wait. You said to go that way? The tail? That's the tail, right? Go towards the tail. Straight past the tail, the anglefish tells me that you'll see a flickering light in the fog. All that, you'll find my own ship. Was it left of it anyway? Okay. Alright, so it's this way. Use your ship. Use your ship. <sighs> okay, fine. Use your ship. Okay. Bill. Let's go ahead and view the ship log. This is always kind of a good idea, right? Hollow vine. Okay. Hmm. 
Feldspar is alive. They crashed your ship and is now camping inside a huge angle for skeleton. Isn't your scout tracker is wrong when it says my scout is in two places at once? They have a theory that space doesn't work the same. Doesn't sound overly eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying relative peace and quiet. Okay. Hinted that the secret to reaching the core of Giant's Deep lies at the end of the hollow vine they crashed your ship into. To find Feldspar's ship, I want to take the tail end of the angle and look for a flickering light in the fog. Okay. Island of thorny vines, dark frozen jellyfish looks like Feldspar can't hear before heading off to a dark bramble. That's really the trick, like to use mesh velocity, like very, very, like a lot. Like the second, instead of trying to correct, just mesh velocity, right? Time check, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. The only thing I have on the docket today is just play this game until I die of exhaustion. Oh, okay. What am I looking at? I kind of want to, okay, I, I, I kind of want to go back to the person and be like, hey, Feldspar's alive. See if, like, you can actually do that. Oh, but he asked us not to, right? They asked us not to. They asked us not to. Yeah, we respect that. Okay, fine. Meeting. <laughs> I don't know what that is. 
Listen, I'm working. I'm working. I'm not playing video games. I'm working. Okay? I'm working. Praise me, Vesties. Tell me how hard I am working. I'm working so hard. Drink water. I'm too busy working to drink water. <laughs> Professionals of standards. Be polite. Be efficient. Have a plan to kill everyone you meet. I'm working. There it is. Ah, okay. Best for you eaten today? I did! I did. I knew that I would be playing a long session, so I went and I got like breakfast. Like crappy fast food breakfast but i wanted to make sure that i didn't like flame out so so i made sure i ate and then i drank plenty of water and a coffee and i'm good thank you for thank you for checking though i appreciate it okay. when match velocity it's a beautiful hole if i've ever seen one <laughs> uh, oh, I'm too fast. Let's go towards the red one again. Ah, uh, turn off the light. Maybe the lights are what, like, lead this stupid fish to us, right? And if you turn the headlights off, they can't see you? I don't know. Why are you like this? I mean, do you, do you have time to hear my life story? In order for me to, like, properly answer that question... I don't know if you're equipped for that. Okay. I bought a ring? Vesper lore. No, 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 no. We still have 20 minutes. All right, all right. I get it. I get it. I get it. I should go to the... I will go to the meeting. I got 20 minutes, though. I'm going to play until the last possible second, and then I'll jump into the meeting. All right? All right. All right, come on, come on. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Let's go. I get it. I get it. Please. <laughs> I think I will play again, honestly. I think I will, like, fire up another stream. Alright. Alright. Okay. That's our boy. You know what? F it. Let's go to the twins.
Actually, I got really... Hold on a second. Let's cancel it. I got really close to... I think I think I should... I think I should... I got close. I got close. I should... I should do the... I should learn how to bypass that electromagnetic, like, field. Right? Yeah. I should. You almost got killed by autopilot. Yeah, what else is new? Please stop. Please stop. Are you just not going to stop? Oh, cool. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so I think the trick is really just like... Go slow. And the headlights don't really seem to matter. The fish still see you. And just go through like two or three of the little like... Oh, there's a fish that way. Okay, there's a little hole thing there. Okay. Just go through the holes. Use a signal scope to find a fa faster. This is actually like pretty cool. I'm going to be honest with you, like, if I had this ability to respawn, I don't think I would use it for crazy things in real life, right? I want to have, like, an actual, like, semi-philosophical chat with you. Even if I had this power where, like, every time I died, I would respawn, I don't think I would ever, like, I don't think I would ever, like, consciously make use of it because, like, I would be so paranoid, like, what if, like, I do it and then I die? No, 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 I'm not lying. I'm 100%, like, serious. Like, the pervasive fear in my mind would be, like, what if I just go and, like, die? And then that's when the power, like, shuts off. Right? Like, I, I'm so paranoid, like, I wouldn't be able to trust the power. Right? It would be a last resort. And I would definitely, like, probably be less risk averse, but I wouldn't, like, actively try to, like, die. Just because I'm so paranoid. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't really, like, make use of it that much. Okay, let's go to Dark Ram. There you go. <clears throat> oh my back all right 15 minutes get in there ah shoot i do have stuff that i need to do today but consider like working instead right consider that yeah i got stuff that i need to do but I also got to work, right? Working is like really important. Consider. It's not gaming! God of Cornbread, it's not gaming, it's working. There's like a very big difference between the two. It's not gaming, it's working. I mean, it's tough, but somebody's got to do it! <laughs>
Okay. So this time, we're going to go in. We're going to velocity match. We're going to go in and use the spectrum thingy. And this is down. Got it. Okay. Hydration check. That's my secret besties. With my money, I bought a still suit. <laughs> Velocity. Okay. It's right down that way. It's right there. Okay. Ew. <laughs> Makes sense. It recycles like the moisture that leaves my body. Including from the Wii. And then like filters it. And then like there's a little straw that I could drink from. And with the still suit, my body will only lose about a thimble full of water every day. Huh? Huh? That boy ain't right. I would ar I would I would beg to differ, sir. I would argue that the boy is is terrifically right. Uh oh. Match philosophy. Okay, it's that way. Yeah, it's that way. Okay. Yeah, it's in this hole right here. Oh boy, if that's a. If, they ain't, if that ain't a beautiful hole, I ain't never seen one in my entire life, I tell you what. Alright. There we go. We're going in. Look at the ridges. The ridges on this hole. Damn. Stop talking about holes! Hey, Grandpa. Man, <laughs> my monitor is really dirty. <laughs> Hold on, I think I want to measure velocity. Let's go ahead. Like, because of the way that this stage is colored, like, it's very apparent that there's, like, grime on my monitor. Oh, shit. Can't relate. Like, please clean your monitor. I think I will, honestly. I think I will. Straight ahead. Got it. Been looking at too many holes. I gotta tell you. If that is a problem, and I, you know, it's hotly contested. It's hotly contested that there can even be too many holes. If, if, even if it could be, it's a good problem to have. 
I always tell people, like, that, like, are worrying about something. It's like, are you sure that's a bad problem to have, right? I'd say, like, not half the time, but, like, 30 to 40% of the time, a lot of people that have, like, problems that they're worried about, it's like, stop and think about it. Are you sure it's a bad problem to have? And then they think about it, and they're like, okay, all right. Anyway. Too many holes will spoil the broth. <laughs> Summon Judge Magni for the advice, Grandpa. Yeah. Well, I'll give you, I'll give you like a recent one, right? I'll give you a recent one. The youngest cousin, the youngest cousin that I have, I, I haven't seen them in like years and years and years, but see, it's like, I've, I've heard this through the grapevine through, um, yeah. The youngest cousin that I have is like doing, doing like the college thing, right? They're doing the college thing. And, um, they're like, they're like not, they're not sure like what, oh, what was it? It was like some kind of like, not a job, but like an internship, something. They had like some kind of like thing that they, they, they were signing up for. And it was like a big opportunity with debt as well. Yeah. But like, it was like some kind of opportunity. And then like, oh, we got 10 minutes. It's fine. And they couldn't choose between like option one and option two. And they were just like, oh, this is going to like. This is gonna like decide the the like the trajectory of the rest of my life. What if I pick wrong? What if I pick the wrong one, right? And it's like they're both good. So it's like, hey, hey, calm down, first of all, and like realize it's a good problem to have, right? You don't need to stress about like making the ideal decision. Like you're you're choosing between like two good situations. And it's just like you don't need to. You don't. Yeah, just calm down, and then you'll realize like it's, it's not that big of a deal. As rich coming from you. Exactly. Do as I say, not as I do. Or you could do as I do do. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Ignore that. Okay, we made it back here. We're going to match velocity. And I go in. I go in, right? I'm going in. Match velocity. Which way do I go? Into the hole. Match velocity. Ah, ah, match velocity. Okay. I feel like the, uh, I feel like, oh shoot, is this it? I feel like the, the camera in a colonoscopy. You know what I'm talking about? Hey! It's like the camera in a colonoscopy. I'm going in. Hey yo! Hey! Okay. okay. Oh! Uh oh! Match velocity. Oh, am I like, is there like gravity here now? What? What? It's like behaving weird. Like behaving weird. Behaving strangely. What? Oh, 
Oh, I, I have like, I have gravity now. Huh. Ooh, that's not normal. You got parasites, brother. Trip four. Entry number, I'm going to say not one. Crashes three. Boring crashes zero. A personal best. Whoa! Never thought I'd be seeing one of these beasties inside of Giant's Deep. Awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Blech! This thing tastes terrible. Outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped. Oh! Right. I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior, like the Tauntaun at the beginning of Empire Strikes Back, to see if what's in there tastes any better. Oh. Is there anything else I can do here? Ugh. It's... Note to Feldspar. Do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this was the last thing you ever tasted in life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Do Feldspar. Oh, this is like comfy. Oh, I like this. I'm home. <laughs> I'm home. I'm home, everyone. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die, huh? Yeah, I have like limited oxygen. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Never mind. All right, fine. <laughs> All right, is that it? Am I done? Is there anything else I can do here? That's where you live like this? How could I not? Why don't I just like die? Why don't I just die? And then do the uh, jellyfish thing, right? So true, meeting alert. Ah, damn it. Okay, I'll just die. That's fine. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Fine, 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 fine. I'll do the meeting. I'll do the meeting. I'll do the meeting. Okay? I'll do the meeting. Meditate until next. Okay. I think it's like a 50-50. Like, I bet you, like, once I finish the meeting, like, the exhaustion will catch up to me, and I'll be like, I can't do more streams. And then I'll, I'll tweet out, like, Hey guys, I really love the game, but like I should probably rest because I've been doing like six hour stream, five hour stream like this entire week and like my vocal cords are not feeling great. But there's a 50% chance I'll just be like, I'm working. It's work. What, you're gonna tell we're you're gonna tell me you're gonna tell me to work less? Drink water? No, I refuse. Bro. You're not even going to believe me. I'm not even going to bother. Okay. <laughs> Imagine if I like sat here and then I just like meditated until I died in front of this idiot. <laughs> like pop up again. Let's just do it. That like there like would just be like, I don't understand. I like will myself into non-existence, right? Slate is probably just like, what? Committed to the bit, exactly. You love it. Okay. Alright. I will I will end this stream, do my meeting, and then I might come back. 50-50 chance I'll come back. Alright? Today? Alright. Thank you for watching, everybody. This game is amazing. I want to beat it. I think I will beat it. You know what? I think I'll push, like, every other video game, like, off the menu until I can beat this game. Alright. Okay, I'll be, uh, I might be back. We'll see. We'll see. All right. All right. All right. You're back. You're back. You're back.